And we're back with Ben 10 Alien Forces Time Season 3 Episode 13. Yeah, and got a new little display thing out for this episode. My sister got this for me for Christmas and it's like a little uh, spider monkey bionicle type thing. This bit is very discoloured but as long as, as long as it's like that you can't see it. So yeah, I love this thing. It's very, very poseable and everything. I love it. So yeah. I've got another one back there, but maybe that'll be coming next episode. But this thing is very, very poseable, and I love it so much. I'm now having problems trying to pose it. But, yeah, it's it's a very nice little thing. So that'll be coming out every few episodes. But, yeah, this is episode 13. Last episode, my mind was blown about half an hour ago my mind was blown by the idea of a 26th dimension creature just showing up in Ben 10 alien force but yeah that was just how it goes and some little girls from the 26th dimension I won't say little girl because apparently she had to be over three million years old but her favorite toy got lost on a vacation to the lower dimensions and it turned out to be a incredibly advanced robot that could mimic anything that it saw including Ben, Gwen, Kevin and the Vredel brothers who are possibly dead by now as well as Ben's aliens so yeah <laughs> until the alien until the alien girl's mum decided to come and pick it up but yeah not gonna waste any more time because we wasted enough time already I've only got a few hours left of my Christmas holiday until I have to go back to work. Yeah, it's the 2nd of January when I'm recording this, but yeah, no more time wasting, so let's just get into Season 3, Episode 13 of Ben 10 Alien Force, starting right now! Can't move on, Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I'm coming. I'm like five minutes late, what's the big deal? I'll tell you what the big deal is. I've been trying to go to the beach for a month, and every time we're about to leave, something happens. Monster on the loose, alien invasion... <laughs> Anything. <laughs> What's going on? That's because I saved the whole entire <laughs> Again, Ben, stop. We know you must deliver this trip. The animation seems a lot better in this episode. It's very smooth. Between the new Odins and our foes, the Pantophage. What's wrong with her? Treasure, you say? Oh my god. I am Sicily. She who bore him. So it's like a hostage exchange. Oh, it's the mother. Hostage. Oh no, 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 no. It is simply a show of trust. We'll supply you a ship. Uh. We're supposed to fly in that thing? Absolutely. That's a tacky on 930. Ugly on the outside, but all engine on the inside. Woohoo! Road trip! After all, Ben Tennyson did save the whole. <sighs> Stop. Now, what about the mother? What about the mother? Something's going on with that. Whoa! Whoa! New alien, what is this? He's very aggressive. Apoplexians are powerful, argumentative, and extremely aggressive. They believe any problem can be solved by hitting it. Not true! Sometimes you have to hit things a lot! It also says that they're not too bright. Okay, here we go. Change it back. What? It's busted. No, don't do that. Um, this is, could be a problem. Aww. We are on a mission to deliver some major cargo. The Tiffin of the Woden. <sighs> Shut up, Kevin! No, this is bad. Yeah, I know you've been looking for me, but I 
got a tip that'll make it square again. I guess they're not dead. We saw you two go up in an explosion. Yeah. Folks used a home kit to make us. One thousand credits to anybody what joins up with us. Oh. Oh. Now you're making it interesting. Woo! The bartender, what did the bartender do? All with the food. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. The food. Nope. This alien's intense. Well, that didn't work out so good. Ejected into space. I'm almost starting to appreciate the old bed. <laughs> this is Commander Sam. You're an incursion. Yeah, I am. Now, as you know, we incursions love war. Can't get enough of this stuff. Uh. They got that New York, New Jersey accent. I don't know which one. <laughs> oh, the prince. Black hole. Cool. No, really? Cool. What are you doing? I can feel the G's. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Now where is it? You exaggerated. Hi! What are you doing here? Oh my god. How many people are gonna show up in this episode? Considering every time we run up against you, we kick your butt! What did you say? I should have said spank your butt, since you're just a little baby in that big mechanical suit! Uh, Ben, I've got this one. I'm gonna call you Baby Man, Baby Man! You're not getting any right for me. He's a bit of a liability, this alien. This whole trip is like one of those dreams where everyone you know is in it. Yeah. They all want to hurt you. Yeah, exactly. Whoa. You ruined my whole supply. This is mad. How many aliens are going to be in this episode? Pretty planet, but I imagine the people are not going to be such. Yep, exactly. Sorry, little guy. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Let me tell you something, Jared of Pantophage. I just jumped out your throat. You start a war with the Lonans, and I will do it again. Only that time, I will knit your intestines into a sweater. <laughs> Did you know Jared was going to eat the baby? Yeah, well, I wasn't sure exactly, but. Never talk to me again. Wow. And Man, you're back. Yeah. As soon as the tiffin left, I went back to normal. <laughs> okay. Katie must have sent out some kind of interference that messed with the Omnitrix. Good guess. You knew? Back would like a word with you. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Kevin. You Please don't. Ah, <laughs> Wrath might be my new favourite alien. <laughs> this, how do I... 
Oh my god! This may be. This is this is one of the best episodes of the season. I'll tell you that. It might be in the top three. Uh, how many people? How many characters that we know were in this episode? Yo, the cast list of this episode is not that big, but every, every almost everyone had more than two roles. Almost everyone had more than one role. Uh, obviously, only people who had. Well, six people throughout this episode, and three of them were only one. Okay, so Ben, Yuri Lowenthal, Kevin Greg Sipes, and Rumbold, Romboid is Rob Paulson, so yeah. But the others, uh, Dee Bradley Baker is the Tiffin, of course. Uh, I imagine that's the command. Uh, the I imagine that's the that's the ambassador and sang sang Freud was the it it doesn't matter it doesn't matter there were people in throughout this episode uh Arjit showed up the Riedels showed up which we'll talk about the Riedels in a second the incursion showed up the Volcanis showed up May the Riedels it turns out they're clones we we referenced what happened last episode when they went up in when they went up in flames uh yeah, they're clones. So does that mean the ones that we saw below last episode were the originals, or were they clones, or are now these the originals? Or have we never seen the originals? <laughs> Either way, it's awesome. I was happy to have the readers back. It seems like a very, it seems like a very transparent way of just bringing them back, thinking like, oh, the, <laughs> I think the the writers of the show realised, oh, maybe we shouldn't have killed them off last episode. Let's bring them back as clones. But, it doesn't matter. We've got the Riedels. It doesn't matter. So the whole point of the episode was to escort the Tiffin, the son of one of the the son the son of Sicily, ex escort the the prince to the other people. I can't remember what they're called. But on the way, just meeting everybody. Honestly, Kevin kind of pissed me off when he told immediately told Archit about their delicate operation. And yeah, just don't trust Arjit with anything. Uh, but along the way, we were just meeting everyone we could, we could possibly meet. I'm, I'm surprised we didn't see Vilgax. Honestly, Wrath is probably my new favorite alien. It was just funny watching him just be aggressive with everything. Yeah, it was it was just a lot of fun. A lot of fun this episode. So fun. Uh, yeah, immediately turned into immediately turned into Wrath whilst on the ship. Once again, leaving Earth. How many episodes this season have we left Earth? I get... Uh, I suppose I felt like we've left Earth a lot more than we actually have. The Vredals, yeah, we did leave Earth. With the... The the Red vs. Blue episode, we left Earth again. Uh, the Vilgax episode, that's three. And now this is the fourth time. I just, I just felt like we've left Earth a lot in this season. But... I suppose that's counting into... A, that's taking into account other people's things as well. Just give me a second. All right, honestly, just after that confusion, I don't know what's going on now. But yeah, uh, just Wrath was so funny. <laughs> Let me tell you something, just shouting at everyone. And Riedel's got ejected into space. Uh, that's where we went. We, we went to the space station first. I assume they were just there to stretch the legs or something. I thought they were supposed to be meeting someone there. I thought that's why we went there in the first place. But no, I suppose it was just to stop off where we found Arjit. Kevin immediately discussed the, the plans. Arjit, Arjit tried selling him out. And then the Breedles show up. Or the Incursions. I, which one did he call? Did he call the Incursions or did he call the, the Breedles? It Very fast if he called the Breedles, but yeah. Honestly, every problem that they faced, I thought I was going to last the entire episode, but it didn't. We just dealt with everyone so fast. It shows how effective Wrath is. He dealt with the Riedels quick time. He dealt with the Incursions quick time. Well, but, uh, Kevin also did that as well. When he made them fly into a black hole. I feel like we experienced... We, we saw death this episode. And then... 
so after dealing with the Vredos, after dealing with the incursions, we went to this planet, I can't remember what it's called, Tentonites or something like that, where we found Volcanis. Then Ben just, Wrath just dealt with him quick time as well. And then eventually we finally got to the planet after receiving tearful message from the mother. Did, I mean, did she know exactly what was about to... Uh, yeah, because when, when she... When she came along at the end she said oh my son's alive it's a miracle so i assume she knew what was going to happen that's why she looked so sad uh, but yeah then we we got to the, we got to the planet beautiful looking planet people not so much and then he, the the devil looking guy he looks like the devil he immediately ate the baby and i was completely shocked i wonder if my face showed it in the fucking reaction and then wrath just went on a mad one he just jumped down that guy's throat and when the when his belly started moving about I thought he was going to tear himself out of the belly but no he broke his teeth and jumped out there instead and Wrath just in, intimidated this like 20 foot tall devil looking alien yo Wrath gets the job done I'll tell you that and it all came about and he wasn't allowed to he couldn't Honestly, if they call one more time and scramble my brain anymore, I'm not going to be able to speak. But yeah, where do I rank this episode? Now I've got to now I've got to do something that requires more thinking. Jesus. Okay, I put last episode between seven and five. I think this was I think this was better than that. It it may have, it was probably better than five. Was it better than nine? What was nine again? That was the Charmcaster episode. I think it was better than the Charmcaster episode. Was it better than the Dark Star episode? Yes. So this is definitely in the top three. Was it better than the Hybrid Returning episode? In pure entertainment factor, I'd say yes. But as it relates to the overall story of Ben 10, I'd say no. So I'll put this in third place. I'll put this in third place. Despite how, despite how entertaining it was and despite how many characters we got in this episode, I feel like the hybrid stuff still outranks it. And not to mention episode 10 was the Ghost Freak and Vilgax episode, which was mad. So, yeah, this takes third place between episode 8 and 11. So, yeah, once again, a very, very good episode. Both of these episodes have been pretty good tonight. So, yeah, that is all we've got for this week of Ben 10 Alien Force. Until next time, we are over and out. Bye!